of vicious hot guys welcome to a brand new video today i'll be reacting to chucky season one episode one we are beginning our chucky reactions to the new tv show um if you guys caught my video that i put out i think it was last week or the week before i can't remember when but i did a ranking of all the chucky movies because what i did was i binged watched well i didn't yeah i binged watched over december all seven chucky movies so my knowledge is up to date because i was gonna just jump right into this show and someone's um, someone's like you don't have to watch the sh movies but like it gives you a better understanding i'm like okay look i'll do that let me watch everything and get back to you we're here episode one season one of chucky i'm actually kind of excited for this because like the way the seventh movie i think it was uh cult of chucky ended chucky was well he possessed nika and nika and jennifer tilly or tiffany went off living their life so who knows? But then also there are other Chuckies, right? Because you put your soul into the different Chuckies. But anyways, we're going to just see what this is all about. So Chucky fans, let's just get into episode one, season one. Let's go. Three bodies were found by the Hackensack Mall last night. That brings the total body count to 11. <laughs> what? I'm assuming this Chucky, or this dog, this Ch I guess this one has part of the soul. I guess we'll find out. I, we'll find out later. But I'm guessing this is. I oh, will find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. It's gotta be worth twenty bucks, right? Don't do it, Jake. I have no idea. Don't do it. Must have been my daughter's, I guess. Tell your dad I said hello. Be careful now. Okay. Oh. So I the knife is gone. I'm stressed, literally I'm stressed already. Like, don't hurt this child! A bloodbath that gave birth to one of the most notorious serial killers in history, Charles Lee Ray. Oh. Back in the day, he was one of us. So that's this his childhood town. So Charles has returned to his childhood town. That's gonna be really freaking interesting, isn't it? You read about it in the Times this what the hell is this doll baby doll head? Place. Uh oh, he's alive! Oh my god, he's alive. Obviously. Two hands are better than one, right? Oh, he's gonna like dismember it or something. Just Jake, sir, my this is, sir. What is happening? Why are we gonna dismember the doll? Like he wants dolls to like whatever he's doing. Something I don't know. Doing something. Oh no. Wanna play? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jake, another freaking doll. Yes, I am. Hi. Maybe you could uh, ask a girl to a movie, see a friend or something. Friends come and go in my experience. It's almost impossible to make a living as an artist. Mom did. Now, excuse me, we're gonna support his dream, okay? I know it's a bit of like, okay, like with the doll faces, because it's a little creepy to me. But at the end of the day, we respect. His dream. Is he my child now? Am I gonna claim him as my son? Probably. Is he gay? I saw a pride flag before. I think. Maybe he's like, ask a girl. I, no, no, maybe he likes boys. You don't know him. Maybe I'm gonna be defensive over my new child, Jake. Huh? Any harm to him? Any harm to him? It wasn't a living. A thousand bucks, Jake. I'm sorry. Maybe next year. Oh. Besides, you don't want to be That's with me thing. for a whole month, do you? Yeah, I do. I don't like the dad. He gives up bad energy you vibes. Take pill today? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But if he reveals himself, if he, if Chucky become, well, obviously Chucky will become alive at some point. In if Jake's the first one he's alive to, then Jake would be the one he wants to take his soul, right? So Jake better be freaking careful, huh? When have you ever needed help? Isn't that great, Jake? Huh? He's the best distance runner at Perry Middle since... Well, since his father. No, this is sad. I feel sad for Jake. It's the day in Painting City Hall with the... You know, Jake, the, uh, the scouts are taking gaze now. You should totally come check it out. Junior? Hello? What? It's true. Oh, did the dad not know? Oh, no! Did we out the dad? Or what does the dad know? And he just tries to... Oh, I'm stressed. 
No, okay, wait, okay, so he is gay, bless his soul. I accept him, my child. I told you, my son, my son, for a reason, I'll protect him with my life. But the, 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 I don't know if the dad knows or not because he said to Jake before, ask a girl to a movie, or he does know, he's just trying to sweep it under the rug. It's a phase kind of thing. Does he know? Oh, fuck! So, what is that? It's the 21st century, it's cool to be gay now. Right, Jake? Okay. Hang on, issue. Yeah. Or vegan. It is who it's who he. Yeah, okay. Did you give it a rest? He's 13 years old. He doesn't know what he is. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So the dad is aware that Jake is gay. The dad knows he's gay. But he's trying to, like, he's too young to know what he, who he is. Ha ha ha, bitch. Doesn't work like that. Once you know, you know it. See it. Listen. Sorry, I I'm leaving it. I'm with my family. I just wasn't the doll sitting where she was sitting. Now obviously he moved into the closet. Ha! <laughs> He's in the closet time. <laughs> the damn fucking cat. I really need to see you. Can I call you tomorrow? Who are we talking to, honey? Who are we talking to on the phone? Huh? That's a bit sus. Maybe not, but why did she have to hide it from them? <laughs> He's literally my son, I don't care. I love him. <laughs> oh, what is the dad doing? Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? That's bullshit, man. Oh, we hate this for him. For Jake. We hate this for Jake. Jake deserves better than this. What the... Is the dad having a breakdown? Like, what's happening? Like, is this how perfect his brother's life is with the wife and the son? And he's like, my son's... Like, really? Like, I don't know what the issue is, but I feel like... Obviously, that family triggered him. Like, you know... And they, or he put, even though, yeah, it was a creepy artwork, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, it was artwork, and it was Jake's artwork, and they just ruined it. No more dolls, Jake. Ever. It's giving homophobic to me. Ooh, the song, though. This is how villains are made. The soundtrack? Go off, first of all, hello. But damn, the way they do this is not. Oh my god. <gasps> the cat? Hello? What did Chucky hurt the cat? Or the cat escaped? Because that was a bit of its fur, right? I have questions. We don't like the dad already. Trash, okay? And Jake deserves the world. But does he like him? Does he like him? Does my son have a crush on him? Oh, sorry. Oh, he has a crush on him. That is so fucking cute. I love him. I love my child. I love my son. I wish him all the happiness in the entire world. He has a crush on this boy. I love that for me. Do you think that you can, like, maybe introduce me to your cousin? Junior? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, bless. Don't you follow me Insta? No, I don't follow you on Insta. What's his name? What's oh, his but name? no, but that's sad. This guy, the guy was like, can you choose me to your cousin? Because it's the cousin's heart or whatever. And no one, you know, looks at him. It's okay, you're 14, honey. You have a long road ahead. Don't worry. It's a high school. You'll be fine. But like, you know, I'm protective, you know. Chuck and cheese. Chucky, yeah, geez, I love you. I hope being financially disadvantaged is nothing to be ashamed of, Jake. Oh my god. Right? I'm not. I can't stand this out of blood. Pussy. Oliver, mind your fucking business. What? <laughs> what? Literally just say mind your fucking business, same. I feel bad. Okay, point to the teacher. Like, I can go off though. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect the teacher to say that. That was just unexpected. No, it's fine though. You got Chucky. Chucky can can cut it open for you. It's probably fine. Partners in crime. I shouldn't stand Chucky. He's a serial killer. That's caused me a lot of pain over seven movies. However, if you're protecting Jake, I will accept it. 
Oh, nah, nah, same, 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 me too, Jake. I don't know if I could do that too, same. Okay! Oh my god. That's a little full on. Oh no, I did that, sorry. Lexi's new GoFundMe. Oliver, let me see that. Wait, GoFundMe for Jake. Here you go, Wheeler. What are you gonna be rude to him for? I hate these shows. I don't hate these shows, but I'm just like, it's, it, I, 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 I feel sad for Jake because I'm just like, why are we gonna bully him? It wouldn't be a teen show if they wasn't any bullying, I get it, whatever. But like, can we stop bullying my son? Like, how rude. Okay. Don't spend it all in one place. Shut up, idiot. Mind your fucking business! Like okay, the teacher said. Tonight, Don't forget your boy toy. Oliver, get the hell out of here. Literally same. I'm the teacher, take yourself. Okay, fine to help a fellow student who's in need. Lexi, you're not very funny. All right, is no laughing matter. What has Jake Wheeler ever done to you anyway? No, but why is the teacher me? I feel like I'm the teacher. I relate to the teacher. First of all, it's the mind your fucking business. Now it's like, take the page down. Who do you think you are? Like, I, I probably approve this teacher. I love this for her. Like, don't let these kids fuck you around, you know? These kids think they're all high and mighty. Not today. Don't worry about me, Miss F. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to end up teaching eighth grade biology. Just take the page down, Lexi. Uh, that's rude. And you can report to detention. And if you try to stop me or penalize me in any way, my parents will sue the school. Oh my god, she's a rich bitch. She and my mom are in the same Pilates class. Oh, don't even. This bitch is- I can't deal- what's her name? Her name's Lexi, right? That's what she said. Lexi thinks she has her parents, well, they're rich or they're important or they're someone. And like, she thinks she, you know, she's the- you know, her, they're her parents' daughter, or whatever, you know, rich daughter. Thinks she can do what she wants, thinks she owns the school. One of those. One of those. Girl, you better get off your high horse before I come there and put Chucky in your room. I'm just saying, girl, I have no energy for you. No energy. Anyone coming after my son is red flag for me. Like, watch yourself, girl. Watch yourself. There are silent crimes. Oh, uh, the crimes. boy he likes is does the podcast and he listens to his podcast, right? I'm assuming that's who, he, that's who it is. That's funny. I love that for him. Uh, but he's like hack and slash. Like, it's about killers and serial killers. So once he finds out Chucky's alive, he can go to the crush, whatever he, the boy's name is, I forgot. And, you know, ask him for help. I love it. You just have to listen hard enough. Uh, yes, it is. Go you off. Uh, yes, yeah, you. Watching Vampire Diaries actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> Me. Is it good? Sort of an also like super hot vampires, right? <laughs> yeah, super hot. Okay, okay. What is happening? I love it. I mean, I'm Jake. I think I, I, I think I relate to Jake. Like in the Vampire Diaries, you know. Mm, I can see why you're wanting me to watch this show. I see it. First of all, I know you listen to my show. Okay. Question. Well, I mean, I know you're listening just now. Would you be interested in coming on my podcast? Oh my god. What? Yes. I do a whole series on bullying, Jake. Oh. Uh. I thought you were in a true crime. Hey, do you want to look at the poster boy for Losers to you? No, I just. No, no, I'm that. not interested. I gotta go. No, no, what? Loser. Really? No, but see, how can Junior sit there and then watch his cousin, like, get bullied and stuff? How can he sit there and let this Lexi girl bully his cousin? I don't like that. Are you for real? Like, really? But anyways, the point of this rant, my little pausing, Devin, is his name Devin? I don't think he meant it in a bad way. I just think he legit wanted to bring him on the show to talk about bullying in general, but, like, I guess it was, like, bad timing. But it wasn't in a bad way, okay? I didn't feel any malicious intent behind that, I think. It's fine, but like, Jake was just triggered. Oh my lord. Oh my god, sir. <laughs> Shit. Gotta stop smoking so much weed before class. Yeah, good idea. Go what? Okay, well, that was way easier than it should have been. Yeah, literally, I feel that. 
No, you're telling me the girl dropped her friend. She didn't even know where the hell it dropped. I mean, she said she was high, I guess. So, like, oh, she's loopy, honey. But he didn't tell. Okay, he didn't actually reveal himself as alive to Lexi yet, right? He just blinked his eye, but she was like, but he wasn't actually alive, alive. So, like. Yeah, I'm calling you about the doll. That was fast. Okay, who is this? What condition is he in? Is his name Chucky? Hello? How do you know? Yeah. Who is this? As a matter of fact, it is. Be very careful with that doll. You understand? What? Who's on the phone? Have you checked his batteries? What are you talking Wait, about? Wait, is that Andy? It sounds like Andy. I'm trying to remember what Andy sounds like because I haven't watched the movies in like, what, two weeks? I haven't wa I watched the last movie like mid -ge mid December, but like, was that Andy's voice? I could be wrong, right? Nah. But who else would it be? Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, that's Andy. Oh, how did you get that? I like to be hugged. Found this in the bathroom. I just think it's really funny that the, that the dad's kind of homophobic, I'm guessing, to his son. And it's really ironic that he's homophobic knowing that he works for a company called Lube. Like, you shouldn't really be talking, sir. You shouldn't really be talking right now, should we? Okay, works at Lube. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Was it meant for anyone special? Only for you, Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're lying. And is that Jake Wheeler sitting right across from you? Oh, hey Jake. Uh, just, boo him. Just good. Come on, Jake. Don't be shy. No one who likes that she's doing this. Although I love that her mom is is um Deb Scott from Montreal. Hill. I love Barbara Allen. I love her. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Oh shit, that's Chucky. Oh, they're, gonna be, they're gonna think he's like a ventriloquist, right? With the with the hand and the doll and stuff. They're gonna think he's a. Oh, girl, watch out! Be careful, Jake. Okay, be careful. I know he was defending you, but I'll just be careful because it's Sarah Keller, psycho. And I'm your friend to the end. You get that now, Jake, right? Okay. Yeah, I get it. Look what I found. My phone. Ah! <laughs> Same. That's pics of Oliver, too. Uh-oh. Oh! That was a secret. Oh, no, he makes... Okay, okay. I know Chuck is a psychopath, right? Like, we don't stand. However, him exposing Lexi's phone is very interesting. I'm not going to say she, deser she deserves it, but she deserves it. I don't know, man. I just think, you know, don't bully if you can't dish it. Don't talk shit, you get hit. That's the rule. We all have our secrets. Right, Bree? <gasps> oh, shit. Let's search here something. What am I, far smoke so good? Oh, Lord. I'm actually embarrassed for her. The poor girl, but also. That must be her sister, right? Lexi's sister. All I'm saying is don't talk shit if you can't get hit. Like, you, it's a two-way street. You don't bully people if you don't like to get bullied yourself, okay? Now, was it nice to do that to Lexi? No. However, it wasn't Jake's fault. It was Chucky's fault. So we can't blame anybody. We blame Chucky. But also, don't come after my son and you won't get embarrassed. What can I say? I'm defensive against Jake. I'm sorry. He's my child. I claimed. Maybe this will wake her up and put her in perspective. Maybe she'll become a better person. I'll give her a benefit of the doubt for now. You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> okay, Chucky. And everyone's like cheering. I love that. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a wild show, isn't it? I'm ready. You insulted your friends and your family in front of the entire school. They deserved it. I mean, <laughs> and they're not my friends. They used to be. It doesn't bother you that everybody thinks you're fucking weird. No. I don't care that they think I'm weird. You just care that they know I'm a fag. Oh. What the fuck is this bullshit? I'm done with this man. I'm done with this man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Don't. What? What the? 
The dad has issues to work out, okay? We do not like this. Can Chucky attack the dad, please? I think I need it. I'll be honest. Oh, oh. I hate the. I really hate the dad. The dad. I care the dad lost his life, but there's no means to be a fucking dick to your son. Oh, Chucky, do your thing. I support you today. I support Chucky today! Oh, he ain't there anymore. Oh, there it. Oh, shit. Oh, my lord! What is that? Vomit? What's happening? Was that acid? I don't know what's going on, boys. Okay. Oh, shit! I mean, look, does the dad deserve it? Yes. I know the dad is grieving and he's, I guess, I don't know how long the mum has been dead for. But, like, I know he's probably grieving, but that still is no excuse to abuse your son and, you know, be homophobic towards him. Like, there's no excuse for that. So, does the dad deserve it? Look. Yes. I'm sorry, I just don't have the tolerance. I'm just like, no, you're gonna... Karma's a bitch, I ain't it. A karma is a bitch. That's all I'm gonna say about this, see? Oh! 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 Oh, my lord! Fuck off. Are you, are you serious? Did the dad die? I think you're in the same class as my son. Oh, that's Devin's mom. Uh you don't want to see the grief counselor? The dad did die. Oh, thanks. Okay. The funny thing is, the only thing missing was a doll. Your teacher said it belonged to you, Jake. Broke into the school in the middle of the night just to get your doll? I, I needed him to practice for a talent show. Oh, Lord! You couldn't have banged his head up before you walked out to the sun? Oh, okay. No, she doesn't believe him, does she? I can't let they kill the dad off in the first episode. Go off. I mean, not go off. So, but like, what are we calling? So you're gonna come stay with us now? Check out the house they live in, though. Like, all right. Shit. What is he shit for? He lost his dad, bro. That's it, bro. Like, he lost his dad. Have some respect. Nah, she's guilty about something. I don't know what it is. Jake? No, uh, me having a secret. Um, I, I was just trying to be funny. Um, I, didn't, I didn't mean anything by it. I'm sorry. Okay. Nah. Get some rest. Nah, she's sus, man. I don't know what it is, but she's got a secret. It could be nothing, it, but she looks guilty. I don't know what it is, in, but... She's, look, nah, she's stressing now because he kind of exposed, well, Charles almost exposed. But, nah, man, there's something going on. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out, I guess, at some point. What is this tension between the two cousins, though? Like, relax. Oh, no, he's slapping him. fucking <laughs> hoe. Sorry. Yes, I'm. We did it. We did it, Jake. Now, nah, what's happening? Because now, okay. B no, man, what the fucking shit? <laughs> Sorry, we we'll took at the end. I think it's on the I didn't want him dead. He got what he deserved. I mean, he wasn't right. always like that. When I was younger, he was really cool. Now, let's talk about that bitch, Lexi. <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that's Charles's mom. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, but why was that actually kind of good? I love how he's like, let's talk about that bitch, Alexi. Same. Do I think Lex needs to die? No, she's literally what the same age, fourteen years, thirteen, fourteen. She doesn't deserve to die. Obviously, she just needs to wake up and you know come to reality a little bit. Just take a notch, take a seat. She needs to take a seat, get off her high horse. She doesn't deserve to die. She's a child. 
The dad, on the other hand, different story. But you know what, though? Okay. That was actually good. Like, I, I actually enjoyed that. Like, I thought that was a pretty good, solid way to start the Chucky TV series. Like, I'm assuming... Okay, so the person on the phone who really rang Jake, the person ringing Jake, when he's like, where'd you get the dog? It sounded like Andy. I don't know. Don't spoil it if you know in the comments. But it sounded like Andy. I'm um, Maybe it is, because who else would it be? But the last thing I remember is, is Andy being held in the in mental, in, in mental asylum thing. In the seventh movie, he got trapped in there. Unless he got out. I don't know how far this is from the seventh movie. Like, how much time has passed. But I'm guessing this Chucky doll that Jake has is one of the dolls with a part of Charles's soul. Because he made different dolls. Because the original doll was getting tortured by Kyle, right? So this obviously is not the same doll, but, like, it's a different... Yeah, okay. But I actually enjoyed that. I don't know why, but I did. I, I really I love my horror. And yeah, Chucky's like, it's not scary, but like, it's become kind of funny. Like, of course, you, you have the, the OG Chucky voice, which is great. And like, I, I don't know. I just, I love it. I think it's great. I think it's hilarious. And uh, Jake is my son. I will protect him with my life. No harm to him, please. Um, Lexi, look. Typical, you know, popular girl, whatever. She'll, her, her time will come. Not death, but like... Maybe she'll join forces. I reckon she'll join forces with Jake and... Devin? I reckon they've introduced the characters really nicely. And I guess uh, maybe they'll all come together at the end. Maybe... Okay, I have a theory. Maybe I reckon Chucky's gonna go haywire and start fucking killing people. And they're gonna have to band together to try and stop him, I guess. That's my theory anyways. I could be wrong. But that's a theory I'm having. I love that Jake is gay. I think it's amazing. I love my little gay representation. Um, I love that he has a crush on Devin. Like, it's so cute to listen to his podcast. Like, I think they're going to be kind of cute. But, like, they're children. So, like, it is what it is. But, like, they're just my children. I want to protect them, you know? Like, it's our parents' love. I have a parents' love for them. Since the dad has died, I will be the dad now. I'll protect my child with my life. Thanks. Um, but, yeah, did the dad deserve to die? Look. Yes. Not die, but did the dad deserve it? Yes. Okay, well, whatever. Um, but no, I thought it was a fantastic way to start the show. Um, introduced all the characters nicely. We got a little hint of the Chucky, was he, you know? I don't know. I just, I love it. I think it's great. So I am actually full here for this. That was my reaction to episode one. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I don't know why I did that. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. I love you all and ciao for now. Bye, guys.